so friends in today's lecture we are going to see what are the responsibilities of the design engineer which have been given in the asme section at division 1 can we use any software any computer programs while doing the design calculations performing the calculations with the help of the equations given in the code so what does actually the code tells us about the same so is the code allowing us to use those softwares or the programs or there are some restrictions which have been mentioned in the code so there are so many things to learn in this lecture so let's begin so what are the responsibilities that is what we are going to start with then we are going to move towards the next important uh, point which is what code tells us about the usage of any software or any computer program in today's 21st century we are using all the gadgets like computers mobiles laptops with high end applications so does the code also allow us to use that or there are any restrictions provided by the code so this is what we are day in and day out doing as an engineer most of us now are performing calculations with the help of the variety of softwares and the computer programs so it saves a lot of time as well and it is inevitable in today's uh, world of competition as well right so what does actually is written in the code forward is what we are going to read so what does that uh, mention over there in the code is the committee recognizes that the tools and techniques used for the design and analysis change as the technology progresses so yes the committee also recognizes that as there will be advancements going to happen in the technology surely there will be more and more accurate programs will be coming and the people can use that there is no problem with that but what they are telling us is and expects the engineers to use the good judgments in the application of these tools so the code or the committee is saying us okay the technology is evolving you can use the evolved tools as well but the engineers should use their judgment good engineering judgment while using these tools what do you mean by good engineering judgment so when we are saying good engineering judgment means let's say if any software gives you any answer so that answer whether it is correct or not that first you have to validate you just don't have to follow the software blindly because it have so many inherent assumptions that you should be thoroughly aware of what does the software tells us or the code tells us designers and engineers using the computer programs for the design or analysis are cautioned the code is cautioning us that they are responsible for the technical assumptions inherent in the program so let's say if any software is using the uh, decimal points to two decimals only or rounding up the values after two decimals but if the code wants it till third decimal so that is your responsibility to increase the precision in that software the software has that tool but that you have to use intelligently and you should be able to use it to satisfy the code requirements so what does it says the designers and engineers using the computer programs for the design and analysis are cautioned that they are responsible for the technical assumptions inherent in the software the software company or the software itself is not held responsible the person who is going to use that software is held responsible so the engineer or the designer who is going to design that equipment the whole responsibility lies on his or her shoulder not on the software shoulder right so other thing is what the code neither requires not prohibits the use of the computer for the design or analysis for the components constructed to the requirements of the code so the code does not recommends neither prohibits you to use such programs or software so it is totally up to you whether to use the software or not but if used it is your responsibility to make sure that all the code equations should be solved correctly and whatever answers you are getting those are in line with the code guideline so whenever any software new version coming or any changes in the softwares are going to get released after that as we all know the authorized inspector will always ask us about the validation of the software so if there are any changes in the software so we have to validate that with the manual calculations with the help of the excel sheets 
and then we have to prove that whatever the changes have been done those are in line with the code requirements and we have validated through excel sheets or through manual calculations and thereafter we will be in a position to use that software so that we can trust that software so where it has been mentioned in the code so you can just have a look at if we enter into the forward of code right so it is very clearly mentioned in the forward but how many of us have actually read the forward the agony is that in the today's world of competition we are having so little time so we are not even knowing our responsibilities and even not even reading the forward of the code forget about the detail of the code but even the forward which is most important thing where from the code should be read many of us have not read that so what it is been mentioned it is very clearly mentioned over here the committee recognizes that the tools and techniques used in the design and analysis change as the technology progresses and expects the engineers to use their good judgment while using those applications it is very clearly mentioned the other thing is what the designer is responsible for complying all the code rules and demonstrating the compliance with the code equations when such equations are mandatory so whenever we are performing any calculations so it is your responsibility to make sure that the equations have been totally satisfied then the code neither requires not prohibits the use of the computers or any programs for analysis or the construction of the code other thing is what however the designers and the engineers using the computer programs for the design and analysis are cautioned that they are responsible for all the technical assumptions which are inherent in the program so it is their responsibility to understand that and if there are some options by which you can mitigate or you can satisfy the code requirement those options you should be choosing the software will not be able to do it alone so you must be very thoroughly well aware about the code requirements and then you should be using the software then only you will be in a position to handle the software correctly just knowing the software is nothing but 10 to 20% of your whole responsibilities knowing the code is 100% requirement and after that you should use any software to reduce your efforts the software is not replacement of the code knowledge code knowledge is must and it is whose responsibility it is the designer's responsibility to mitigate all the requirements of the code or to satisfy all the equations whatever are applicable in their design it is not the software or software suppliers responsibility to match the code requirements so i hope you must have now understood what are our responsibilities and we all as a responsible engineer henceforth will be going to design everything with the good judgment what has been mentioned in this forward i hope you must have enjoyed this thank you